All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna be working on making a Spotify clone. So just to kind of give you an idea of what we're trying to make here, what we'll be making is the following. It'll look like this. So it's a replica of the playlist page. We won't be getting into the API or any external, um, I guess any external uses of Spotify's API, any database, nothing of that nature. We're just working on building a nice UI using Swift and Swift UI. So this is a tutorial for iOS programming. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to create a new Xcode project. So in this application, we're going to be making a tabbed app. We're not going to be making a single view app. Uh, and that's because if you look at the demo here, we have four different tabs. So we want to be able to replicate that. So we're going to make a tabbed app. And we're going to name this Spotify Clone. All right. And I'm going to put that here into a new folder. All right. And <clears throat> now if we look here, this is kind of the main screen when you open a new uh, application, when you start a new app. Uh, so we have a navigator on the left and we have a sidebar on the right. Let's go ahead and close those. We can do that up here with these buttons. So I'm going to close those. Now we're left with the main uh, bread and butter. So we have the area where your code is, and this right here is what we call the canvas. So the canvas, you can open and close that, and that is essentially going to be a, a preview editor. So what we're going to do is we'll keep it open for now, and let's just click resume here so we can see kind of what our previewer is showing us, what the canvas has for us so far. So what we have, if we look here, is we have an iPhone simulator that has two different pages, and we can actually hit this play button. And the play button has its limitations, but it does function. So we can go here and open the first and the second page, and it's exactly what you'd expect. So if we look here, it makes sense. What we have is a tab view, okay? And that's kind of the, oh, if you, if you kind of go back and forth with your uh, arrow keys, you can go back and forth and see what this is encompassing. So this tab view here encompasses this entire area. And our tab view so far has two different tabs, okay? So this right here, when it says text first view, well, it gets kind of confusing because we want to be able to see, so we have image first and text first and text first view, so that they all look kind of similar. So let's kind of make our life a little easier. Let's change the name of some of these things. I like to pick random things just so I know where I'm at. And you can kind of see it too. So if I change text from first view to potato, we can see that this refers to the center screen. And if I change this text to tomato, I can see that that refers to this down here. So this kind of gives us an understanding of how this is functioning. So what it's saying essentially is the first tab is, so this area of this VStack, this tab item right here refers to what this looks like, okay? So I can change the contents of this tab item, this icon, by modifying this area, okay? So what I want to do for myself is I don't like this circle and the square. So the first thing I'm going to do is Let's go ahead and look at this right here. I want my first button to be home and my second one to be search. So I'm going to change this text to home. As you can see, it changed in here. Remember, I'm changing the text in, the, in this tab item V stack, okay? And I'm going to change the text down here from second to search, okay? Now, for this image, I don't want this default image of a circle, okay? And that's what this right here is, this image first. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add a new image. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to this browser here, and I'm going to search for an image. So I clicked up here for reference, OK? I can drag and drop an image into the code here. And I need to tell it what image to pick. So there's two ways to add images in Xcode. The first way, or local images, I should say, is I can bring my own images into asset. So I can bring any image I want and go to my trash here and grab this heart. Let's say I found this 70s. So I'm going to put this heart in here. 
I'm going to change its name to heart. So now I can go back here and I can choose the image that's going to be above the word home. I can just type it out exactly the way that it was written. I, and I named it heart. So now when it resumes, we see the heart. Now, aesthetically, it doesn't look the best, but that's because we didn't make any modifications. We just told it load heart exactly the way it was. And there might be 50 pixels of room here, but the actual image I, I drag and drop to 76 pixels. So we'll get more into the formatting of images and all that kind of stuff. We'll get into that later. The point is I want to show you there's two ways to add images. I can drag my own images into the assets library, or my second option is starting in, I think, iOS 13, they introduce SF symbols. So SF symbols are a set of icons. Drag, drag this up here. Icons provided by Apple as a default. So all of these were um, designed by Apple, and you can use any of them app in your application here. So what I want to use is I want to use, let's say I want to use square. No, that's just something a little better. If I search one, let's pretend I want to, or home. Here this is house. So if I want to use this house icon, instead of just typing in house, if I type in house, it's going to go look in the assets library for an image named house. But there's no image here named house. There's first, there's second, there's heart. What I can do instead is I can say, if I want to use a system image or the SF symbol, I can write system name house. Now it's searching through the SF symbols for an image named house. Let's take a little while. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Retype it. Sorry, we were modifying the wrong one. We'll leave second the way it was. Up here, we'll change image. We'll write system name house. Now, if I run. It's going to show me home with the image icon of house. So we can do the same thing here for, for the search one. I don't want to square. Instead, let's add, let's see what we what we want. So I'm going to just search the SF symbol library. And it looks like if I type in the word search, it's saying, oh, you're probably looking for this icon called magnifying glass. So just remember, magnifying glass. I'll go over here and I'll say image, system name, and I'll choose the name magnifying glass. It's crucial that you type it in exactly the same way that you found it in the SF symbol library. So now it grabbed exactly what I wanted, this icon that looks like a magnifying glass. So, so far, what I've managed to do is I've managed to create, if we look back at what we're trying to build here, I've managed to start creating these buttons down here. So we've got home and we got search. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at essentially how we can replace this potato. We want to put something a little more, you know, with a little more substance in it. So what we're going to do for this portion is the, the way this works is this right here, what we're looking at, what we're previewing on the screen is a content view. Okay. So I can create a new view by saying, I'll say file, new, new file. I want I don't want Swift file. I want Swift UI view. And that can be a bit confusing. If you came from the old uh, way of writing uh, or creating interfaces with storyboards, you wanted Swift files, you wanted storyboards. Now we're just using Swift UI view. So we'll open a Swift UI view and we're gonna name this one home page. Okay. So now I created a whole new view. And if I resume and I try to load this canvas, you might get a little confused because you're gonna say, well, what's this hello world page? I thought we were over here working on this tabbed view. So it's a bit confusing because in your mind, these look like two completely different applications. But the way it works is right now, the first page, when I, if I'm on the tabbed view here, okay, we're on the, we're on the content view, which is the tab view. If you look, we have a home and a search. And home is just displaying one thing. It's just displaying this text potato. That's it. What I can do, however, is instead of displaying text potato, I can actually display home page. So if I make sure I get all the capitalizations exactly the same, 
I'll come here in content view and say instead of showing me a text that says potato when I'm at home, show me the home page. And close that up. What we'll do here is we will, if you notice, now it doesn't say potato. It actually says hello world because home page itself says hello world. So now if I change anything in home page, notice I'm in home page now, okay? If I make it say this is home, I can go to content view and it, it reloads and understands that home page is what it's displaying. So any changes I make in home page will now be reflected in the home page here. Okay? We'll do one more thing and then we will call this video a wrap. So we're going to open again. We're going to open a new file. New file. Okay, just to really uh, get this idea seated in your mind, we're going to create a new Swift UI view and we're going to call this one search page. Okay, we'll create it. And now we can resume so we can take a peek at what we're working on. So the search page now says hello world. Notice these are different files now, okay? So the search page, I'm going to make it say this is a search page. If I resume, you'll see that sure enough, search page says this is a search page. Home page says this is home. And I can build these views separately. And when I'm ready to go to the, to the tabbed view, this is kind of like the core of the app, I can say instead of saying when I click search right now it's showing me the text second view instead I can say instead of showing me that I want you to show me the search page and now when I click home it says home it's displaying home page and when I click search it says this is a search page because that's the contents of the search page so if I come here and I and I want to add something else I want to instead of put an image I can put an image system name, you can add the magnifying glass again, magnifying glass. Sure enough, if I go back to the content view, now if I'm at home, it says home, and when I'm at search, it says magnifying glass. All right, so that's the first part here, and in the next video, we'll kind of keep making our way towards creating this right here, okay? All righty, see you in the next video.